Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and uh, today I wanted to talk about something that I think is a really important uh, aspect about preparedness that really doesn't ever get talked about, or at least I've never heard anyone speaking about it. Um, and it's something that is re it's ubiquitous in all of our life. It's what we use to value, uh, to, to judge the value of our lives, I think, to, to a large degree. Um, and I think people forget that it's still going to be kind of in play um, in a, in a shit-hits-the-fan scenario. I still hate that, that uh, phrase, shit-hits-the-fan. SHTF isn't much better. But you know what I mean. Uh, I, no matter what, people are always going to be concerned about this thing, and that is happiness. Whoever really talks about that, I mean, whenever anyone's talking about, uh, you know, preparedness and survival and everything like that, it's always about bare bones, you know, not dying. Um, but that's not how we live at all. Um, yeah, you judge your day by, you know, how much happiness you had during that day. And um, the reason I think that that's important is just for psychological health. I mean, if you're just surviving, that's, I mean, you can be in solitary confinement in a prison and you're surviving, but that's like not kind of... I feel like I'm going to offend somebody. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I would personally want to do that. Um, and, and there are people that, you know, go to the point of, like, you know, questioning suicide when they are in these situations. I've never been in one myself, so I can't speak from experience. But uh, from what I understand, solitary confinement and barely getting by and surviving and avoiding death is not necessarily what we as humans um, are calibrated for. Um, so happiness, um, and, and what does that mean in a shit hits the fan sort of situation, and how do you prepare for that? I think the most important way to prepare for that is to, uh, you know, it sounds like a lame-ass cliche, but find happiness in the simple things in life, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, just planting your garden, or for me, collecting rainwater and being all excited and giddy about everything I'm going to do with that rainwater, and, uh, even, even to the point of, uh, you know, I, I shovel water out of my tub and I put it in buckets and I use that for, to flush the toilets and there's something deeply satisfying about knowing that I have two full five gallon buckets and a clean toilet that's just been flushed. It's just, it's great, you know, it's like I'm all set. Um, and that's totally lame, but it, it makes me happy. <laughs> um, so I think that the more of those types of things that you can find happiness in, uh, the better off that you're going to be if you, if you don't need in the infrastructure to keep you um, satisfied with your life. Um, so again, for me, I, that means, you know, the simple things. But what does that mean for you and how do you, how do you prepare for that? How do, you, how do you make the things that allow you to have happiness, how do you make those bulletproof, so to speak? How do you make it so that those things can make it through? And you're not just storing uh, your ability to grow food and your ability to defend yourself or whatnot, but you're also uh, storing and planning for your ability to enjoy your life when um, and if anything were to ever happen. I think that's really important. Do you think that's important? Um, is that something that you think you could do without? Would you be fine just, you know, eating spam? I'm a vegetarian, so I'm really offended by spam. <laughs> I think anyone with taste buds, though, might be offended by spam. I don't know. I've never tried it. From what I understand it to be, it sounds really rank. Maybe it can be prepared properly, I don't know. Uh, like potatoes, you know. you got to prepare potatoes properly. So potatoes and spam, they, they're equivalents. Except one's vegetarian. So, uh, you know, what does that mean? Uh, aside from just, you know, preparing to not starve to death, uh, you know, what does that mean to you to uh, have some sort of happiness after the fact? And ahead of the time. I, this, this thing right, this is going to be a, uh, a humanure compost pile. There's a lot of uh, carbon in all those sticks. And I'm going to be adding some nitrogen by means that you can probably imagine from the term humanure. It's crap. Not in there yet. It will be later. There'll be another video on that. But that makes me super happy. The idea that I'm going to be doing that. What makes you happy? How do you plan for it? How do you prepare for it? How do you store it for the future? What does that mean to you? Is this ridiculous? Would you be fine just bare bones surviving? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.